Oh, you can't speak now? You acting brand new? What's going on, folks? It's D. White, founder of JustBlackThoughts.com. Today's topic is just say hello. Say hello goes a long way. As my mother used to tell me, it doesn't take a day off your life just to say hi, just to speak to people, especially your people. And when I say your people, specifically back in the day, and still is when I see Black folks, whether it's my students or Black colleagues or staff, I say what's up to my Black and Brown staff, like what's good, hello. Even just a small head nod goes a long way. And no, it doesn't mean I don't talk to my other colleagues. For sure I do. But the main thing today is creating that community and modeling that community building for your young people in and outside of that classroom. So I'm not talking about being transactional. I'm not talking about being fake friendly. I mean, really just saying hi to people, you know, investing in the people around you in your community. That's your, your janitorial staff, your security staff, your lunch servers, your secretaries, your coaches, just saying hi to people. I know one of the things I used to do and I still do to this day is when I see someone in the hallway, I'll check in. Those 30 seconds, I know we're busy and we're fleeing, but just saying hi, giving a pound, a handshake, just, just investing in the people around you, creating that sense of familiarity, that sense of trust. Um, you want to make yourself a part of the community. So doing that, get someone's name, say hello. It goes a long way. I feel like every place I go to, and I'm a pretty gregarious social extrovert, so to speak. So I say hi to everybody. It it comes in handy, right? Especially not just when you need something. Again, I'm not trying to be transactional, being relational, um, but just when something goes down, whether it's with a kid or you you need to help someone out, someone else out, uh, people know who you are, right? I've had tons of parents come through the building and they'll remember me because I say hi, I speak, I say hello, I introduce myself. You know, that's for anybody. And so if there's a kid who's, you know, lost in the school or someone's roaming around, they know to come to my room because they, they've seen this guy, that being me, Mr. White. That guy always says hi and always speaks. And people don't forget that. People remember when you say hello to them. I've had students I've taught during the summer and their parents remember me because I said hi to them years before and years after. And so it's really just about being genuine. It's about being amicable. It's about being warm to people because people will reciprocate that and you create a connection with folks. Again, teaching can be really isolating, especially when you close that door to your classroom, it's just you and the kids. Um, and so why does that matter to me as a black male educator, especially for my black and brown students and for my white students at that? Seeing two black folks connect in a positive way is important. So I have an open door policy, which I'll tell you later about in another video, but I'll have colleagues come by just to say hi. And I'll say, hey kids, let's say what's up to such and such. The kids will see me dap up, hug my colleague, because I think that's just a positive image of just seeing two black folks, right? Connect in a positive light. And it's not about being performative, but really just being genuine, that's my guy. So kids will see, oh, those two teachers are connected, right? So kids wanna see a support network. And so they'll see teachers connect with each other and they'll feel that much more safer, right? Because then kids will know, oh, Mr. White's got my back. He's going to tell me to go see my counselor, which he knows really well, or he knows such and such really well. I trust his judgment that this person, you know, it's essentially like a cosign, right? Uh, and lastly, I'll say, why does it matter to me? Even if I have professional differences with some of my colleagues, you know, I still have to remember we have the same goal of serving our young people and making sure they're safe, making sure they're learning, making sure that we're creating a context and a space for them to, to grow, to learn, to evolve. So I don't get too bent out of shape. Uh, I try not to take anything that's happened during the day home in terms of like personal stuff or professional differences or disagreements. And I'm human. I sometimes steam about it in the car, for sure. I steam about it in the bus. However, I have to remind myself that I'm going to I'm going to have fall from graces. I'm going to have moments and I hope my colleagues can remember the positive interactions we've had. 
over the time and not um, pigeonhole me to uh, one or two uh, negative interactions. So again, this is just about saying hello and speaking to people. You know, it's not about necessarily uh, finding your tribe and being sequestered and, you know, bogarting. No, I just like saying what's up to people, uh, investing in the people in your community because schools are a community space and we want to honor that. Uh, we cannot forget that so that learning is social, that teaching and learning is social and that it's communal. It's like a congregation, so to speak. So we're all kind of pitching in and helping each other. So if you can, you know, make friends with some people outside of your hallway, people outside of your building, whether that's if you have multiple buildings on your campus, you know, go say hi to the business folks, go say hi to the administrators, the secretaries, go say hi to your deans. All right. It goes a long way and people just feeling connected and people feeling safe and seen and heard. So I'm D. White, founder of JustBlackThoughts.com, and I'm just one black male educator giving my thoughts. Peace. Hey, it's D. White, founder of JustBlackThoughts.com. If you haven't done so, hit subscribe on YouTube. Follow me at The Other English Teacher on Instagram and YouTube. Peace.